This project is, is huge. It's one of the most comprehensive dry docks we've ever done. So we're um, actually touching all of the spaces on board. There's rarely a corner we leave untouched. When we have a ship in dry dock for 30 days, it's a huge opportunity for us to really take care of and, and make some big maintenance changes to the vessel below the water line. Probably when you're maintaining your car, you don't think about it almost a year ahead of time. We start the planning process way, way, way in advance. And then when it's time to get in and start doing the work, then there's a lot of consultation there, you know. We're renewing and maintaining the bow thrusters. So we've taken them both out, maintained them, and put them back in. Moving down the ship, we replace the anode system, our discs on the side of the ship. It actually runs an electrolysis type system through the ship to keep rust away from the ship and keep growth off of the vessel underneath the water line. In this dry dock, we have the opportunity to actually remove both stabilizers. We're doing a full maintenance on them and we'll place them back in. Moving back aft, we take the stern thruster completely out. We have a renewed stern thruster from another vessel. We're putting that one in, so we do that on a rotational basis. Moving further aft, uh, we have the propellers and the rudders. We're actually doing work on the rudder and replacing the propellers completely. This is our new uh, ducktail. This has been put on in several different pieces, being welded to the stern of the vessel. And the primary reason for putting the ducktail on is to improve the stability of the vessel. In addition, uh, since we have uh, balconies added to the ship, the bridge wings will be extended to allow the, the line of vision along the ship side. We're very happy. The ship is in great shape for its age and it's going to look even better. We're excited. <laughs>